Welcome to this tutorial. So this is the square root series and in the last parts of our series we saw how to do how to get the square root of a number using an algorithm and this was the algorithm we worked with the newton raphson's algorithm and I promised you that I'll show you how to do the same thing without the algorithm that is with JavaScript's built-in functions. So let's look at that now but before we start start with our modifications I want to show you something so look at this we have our catch point here so whenever we enter 0 we should even if it was equal to equal to or triple equal to whatever it is we have to get this particular output right the square root of the number is 0 so let's see if we get that okay so enter the number 0 see Nothing happens and you can't even click on the button after this. I'm trying and nothing's happening because this means that our program is running infinitely. It's not stopping at all. So that that's why the button seems a bit hollowed out. So that's because there's no stop in here. So let's say the number wasn't zero. That is if, if condition wasn't executed at all, then what happens is it goes still here and then it comes here and everything is executed here see so it, it executes till the last line of code and then it comes out of this particular function that is the anonymous function but what happens when we give the number as zero what happens is this this actually this particular sentence I mean this particular line of code should be executed but the problem is this is our add event listener for when the button is clicked that is the square button is clicked and what this this while loop keeps executed because square would be equal to number divided by 2 which is 0 divided by 2 which is 0 and so there is no stop to this code this code would not reach the end at all so and the is, po is positive value will not be executed as well because we aren't we aren't properly doing anything here so that's why that's why we don't get an end for the program so that's why we need to give we need to make sure that the program ends if a zero is encountered. So if the number is equal to zero, this should end. There should be nothing else. The program, the function should return something that is return nothing because for now we've, we've executed what we want to execute and it should get out of this function. So that's why we are going to give a return statement here. So what this does is it returns nothing and it, it stops executing this particular function and it comes out of the code so it comes to the 37th line which is actually nothing so otherwise it will keep executing inside this and we won't get an output at all so let's save save this and then let's see if this works so zero perfect see the square root of zero is zero we're getting it now before we didn't get anything and we weren't even able to click on the button so now we can so now if I do this I'm getting everything properly so our app works perfectly so now let's remove the algorithm and let's try to do the same with the built-in functions of JavaScript so right now square has nothing and right now there is a number which was which was sent through the parsint function so this is an in integer number so we're sending a number which is stored in here and we need to calculate the square root of that number so JavaScript has these math functions if you see here this is the example this is the definition of this a built-in object that has properties and methods for mathematical constants and functions so you you have a lot of things stored in here you have the value of pi so stored so if you give math dot pi so this particular value the pi value 3.1415 that's actually stored in here so you don't have to write this value you can just say math.py and your browser would automatically know which value you're referring to so there are a lot of functions like that and one of those functions is the sqrt function okay which actually returns the square root of the number you your function does not your program does not have to go through the algorithm uh, go through multiple lines of code a loop all of those things to get the square root value instead it can just use this math.square root function call it and javascript 
will do everything for you in the background okay so math.xqrt of whatever we want to calculate so we want to calculate the square root of number which has our number in integer form so let's see if this works built -in. let's change this to built-in function okay so let's save this go back refresh so this should work 25 perfect it works so we are calculating the square root with just one line of code okay so we saved a lot of lines of code but it's always good to know how everything works so it's good to learn the learn the algorithms and how to go about things in a manual manner as well because you might in the future you might not be able to use a built-in function for something else for now we had we have a built-in function for square root but it might not always be the case for every every particular thing we want to do so in those cases we, you might want to actually code everything manually to get the result so it's always it's always good practice to learn the algorithms and try out things manually as well so that's it for this lesson or for this series so we've created our square root app and we've we have two ways of doing the same so please subscribe and like or comment and if you have any if you have any doubts please free be, please feel free to ask and i'd love to hear your suggestions on future videos and future courses of mine as well so i'll see you in the next next tutorial series okay thank you